Hello everyone, my name is Mariam and welcome to my Inkscape and Cricut tutorials. Today we will learn about one of the coolest tools in Inkscape, which is how to draw nice star and polygon. And from the star and polygon, you can create beautiful mandalas, snowflakes, or a spirograph from simple shapes. As you can see here on the screen, I drew some shapes and they were all created from just a simple star. So let me show you how we do it. And at the end, we will upload it on Cricut Design Space and we will find out how it will look like. So I will just hide this screen and go to another blank page. So on the left menu, the editing and drawing tool menu, we'll select the star or polygon icon. We simply click on it and we come on the canvas, we hold the control key and start dragging. It will draw a nice star. As you can see, the star has corners. I have here on the top control bar, 10 corners. If you click on the plus, you can increase the corners as much as you want. It actually can go really high, it can go over 1000, but my opinion, do not go so much high because it will make your computer very slow. So let's say I will leave it around maybe 30 or so. And when I have the corners and the handles, basically I contr can control the shape of the star by making the star rays longer or shorter from the outside handle. So the first handle here, it's initially on the vertex as a convex corner of the star. When I click on that handle and keep dragging, it makes the star ray longer or it can make it shorter. So what about if I rotate this handle? So I will click on it and I will start rotating. As you can see, the other handle also gets changed and gets rotated at the same time. So that means I can't skew the star rays from this handle because the second handle gets rotated as well while I'm moving the first handle. The second handle, it's in the concave corner between the two vertex. And when you move it, it doesn't actually affect the first handle. So let's do it. You can see the first handle stay the same. So I can go inside, rotate. It gives you totally, completely new shape with every rotation. You can go really crazy with this handle. And so I can change the skew of the shape from this handle. When you actually hover on the handle, I want you to keep an eye at the bottom here, the description. That status bar actually, it shows a description of what you are um, hovering on and at the same time, it gives you some tips. So for example, when I just hover on the first handle, I haven't clicked on it. It just says at the bottom, adjust the tip radius of the star or the polygon. We shift to round with Alt to randomize. Okay, let's try it. So I am going to drag it, but I will hold the shift key. Shift. You see what happened? Started to make it rounded. Okay, let's try with holding the Alt key. It will start to making a very funny shape, a randomized shape. All right, I will do Control Z. Right, when we try the same thing on the other handle, it says adjust the base radius of the star. With control to keep star race radial, no skew, we shift around with Alt to randomize. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the control key and I will follow. When I actually do that, if I try to go left to rotate, it doesn't change because the control is holding it, keeping it radial. So no rotation, no skew can happen. Okay, let's try to do it while holding the shift key. Nice, so it makes a lovely rounding and this is where a bit of the spirograph shape starts to happen here. Beautiful. All right, at any stage, if you would like to go back to your initial, um, the initial default, for the Inkscape program, you can on the top control bar, go to the very end and click on the X. It goes to the very basic shape. Just in case if you do any change in rounded and randomized and you can't remember the number you want, so just go back to the basic one. 
Now, let's talk about the second option, the spoke ratio. What is that parameter? This parameter actually, it is a ratio of the two handles distance to the center of the star. What does it mean? I have two handles here. The distance between this handle and the star, the distance between this handle and the star is actually the two numbers. The ratio between them is that number on the top. So one to two or 0.5, that half ratio means the distance between that line, between the center and the base radiance is half the distance between the center and the top radius. All right, so we can try it by just clicking on the plus and see what's happening. So now when I make the number bigger, you can see what happened to the distance between the center and this handle and the center and the other handle can go up even to one and now both of them on the same line the distance between them and the center is exactly the same it's very important to remember that the polygon doesn't have to handle the polygon has only one handle which means there shouldn't be any spoke ratio so if i click on the polygon now you will find the spoke ratio parameter has been disappeared from the control top bar and that's why because there's only one handle basically makes the resizing or the rotation and um i want to see how can we control a nice rounded make a funny shape it is not my type of designs to use these shapes however it can be useful in some designs you know when we get a little round acrylic key ring and you want to make like a blotch vinyl and then you add a name on it that can be actually useful for this so yes it's not a neat design but it can be useful sometimes to use a rounded one or make um, a funny shape with the randomize mm, you'll find it's a bit messy but yeah you may end up with a shape you wanted for a specific design you are doing and of course not only controlling the top control bar you control the corners um, make a lovely shape by controlling the handle um, by controlling the spoke ratio it's all giving a totally new design if I actually want to draw a normal triangle, I simply need to make the corners three and do you hold the control key and keep dragging. And by controlling the handle, you can make the shape of the triangle different again and also the rays of the star. When we want to do the rounded handle, you should do shift and drag. And if you didn't like what you just had done, you can simply click on the handle while holding the shift key. See what happened? It became sharp again. Now, what about if I want to just control a part of that triangle? Now, remember this is an object. How can we know? We simply, when we click on the selector tool, and while the object is selected on the status bar, it clearly say it's a star with three vertex. Now, if I want to change it to a path to control it a bit more, you simply go on the top while the object is selected, you click path and then object to path. And then from the left menu, you select the second option, which is editing the path by node. Now you can see clearly here on the status bar, it doesn't say object anymore. It actually says path, six nodes in layer blank page. So it's also giving you description which layer you are using at the moment and you are doing your drawing. I will click on the node, the edit path by node, and I have some nodes. But what about, I want to just control this one. I have that ability. What about if I want to create another triangle here? You double click in the middle of the line, you create a new node, and you can do whatever shape you would like to create. And by this way, you have changed totally the shape into a path and it may 
not give you the options anymore of the corners or the spoke ratio as before because it's not an object anymore. So remember, before you change and converting your object from object to path, be sure you finalize all what you need first from corner, spoke ratio, rounded, and all of this stuff, and then you convert to path if you want to do your chain. So now I will try and see if the actually rays of the star can be rounded anymore. If I do shift and drag it, of course not. It's not going to make any rounded because it's not an object, so it's not controlling the star with the previous way anymore. One more thing we need to do before going to Creaky Design Space and uploading our design to see how it looks like. If you want the tips of the star to be sharp, but you actually want the concave to be smooth or the opposite, what should we do? So I will draw a nice star again. You will do offset so while the object is selected you will click ctrl j and now you can see a little diamond shape here and what you need to do you need to adjust the offset distance so i will click on it and drag and as you can see a nice rounded shape so from the top it's rounded but here is sharp that's for the offset if you go outside like an outset if you go inside by dragging it inside you can see how the top the corners is sharp but here in the middle is nice curved that's inset so basically from the offset function you can make linked offset inset or linked offset outset and it will give you the opposite way all right lovely i think we are in the stage of uploading on cricket design space so what should we do file from the top menu save as save your design under the location you would like on your computer and then we will go and upload it on cricket design space so let me give it a number so design I remember where it is I will go to Cricut and in a new project I will hit upload upload image and what I'm gonna do I will just drag it here all right and I love to give tags and it will be great if you can add the software you designed that one in so it's easily when you search in the um, search of your designs and you write Inkscape it will show you all the designs you did in Inkscape and you can write a mandala or a spirograph stars whatever tags you would like to add and you click upload and once it's uploaded to my list I will select it it has a green frame click add to canvas of course it comes to all as one group you just simply ungroup and this is how it is pretty cool you can see all the shapes we did so i simply ungroup separate all the shapes from each other and then i can select any of them make it bigger see how it looks like perfectly has been uploaded really nicely if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks so much for watching and see you in next tutorial